five foot. And we should note that we are taking the feed from Mexican television. They are showing some of the highlights of Kermit Cintron. Cintron, a really good athlete, not a natural boxer, a made boxer. And maybe that's hurt him in his career a little bit. He's not boxed his entire life, but he's very athletic, he's quick. Answer for the evening. La pelea. Mexicanos, dile al mundo. With the colors of Puerto Rico, red, white, and blue. Historias. 28 ganadas. Right. White trunks trimmed in black and weighed in also 154 ready pounds. One bout even and 28 wins coming. Work is relaxed early. Counter punch, I know that, but short outs for Alvarez. Antonio Margarita. Good luck. Don't. He doesn't want average. 13. Alvarez's shots may land. 140 rounds. In the Reading Pet Technology. Ranked 10th national. So he lived with about the extent of Canelo's power. To me, it looks like he's heavy handed. What do you think of his power? I think he's about central as a amateur career. Does Alvarez. Alvarez. When the first few times we seen him, I was like, this kid is different because he's a Mexican at 150. Comes back with that beautiful jab. Well, that's again, you see the hook. Ooh, follow shots landed high on Centron's head, so you take him better. Left hook followed by a straight right hand. And reach. He's down for both. Because he knows Centron's adjustment. What he has to do, power. So he needs to land a good shot. You see that? To establish some respect. Alvarez goes to the body. Is that describe his style? Roy, how would you right in close? You don't find many young fighters who can do that. Back up and respect that when he's attacking. He's not attacking just all out with his hands anywhere like he would. Boxer punch. Yeah, take it. The other good thing is straight right hand. Like that. Fit your middle weight. The struggle is not to make the weight, it's to keep it. Good that uh, average. He is a big, thick <laughs> guy for his height. Upper body. body. Dead Roy. You shot me through 40. Why well, the like you want to take this title? You're not going to make him pay. Power hand at home, right? You know, it was going to be some problems if it landed. Right. Well, my hand, he's throwing the light. It's not going to be in the Coming back at him. To it anymore. He's committing to throwing more punches right. now. He tried to become a more of a. And he used to sit down. You better believe it. See, like that. That's a good hook, but the hook is the better punch of the combination. He's applying the pressure, moving Centron. Thought Centron, right hand. Posed the size for a welterweight power. There was no easy problem. Say Canelo Alvarez, Kermit Cintron in round number three. Alvarez defending his son in Cincinnati earlier tonight. Age to win a portion of the junior lightweight belt. Live here in Cincinnati. He took round. At this point, though, is something like he means it. It looks as though, especially in light of recent, to know welterweight and here anymore. No, he's not, because uh, he's letting Alvarez close. Alvarez does not fear his power, and that's not a good sign for him. Alvarez, right? That's what, because he's closed the distance with a good counter right. And Cintron. Well, I got a 28 Canelo. Canelo did more damage. And Canelo started to come forward. Two to one. Confusion scores. All right, thanks, Harold. Open scoring. He's doing enough. Can Cintron is fighting. Uh, he's really like we saw in his last fight. He's kind of waiting to wear Central down. You see him throwing the hook to the head, hook to the body there. Close the distance. And the more he closes the distance, the more he'll be able to hit Central. So I don't think he's trying to waste his punches early. Yeah, for a 21-year-old who can punch, he's very patient. Very, very patient. And he's using effectively here in this round. And Central's corner told him to go to the body. He hasn't gone to the body. Central hooks in straight right hands. Lead right from Cintron, right hand, hurts Cintron, and down he goes. Siete, ocho, nueve. Come on, come on, come on. Cintron's been down in his career. Alvarez looking to finish it here in the fourth. That's a slip. That is not enough. Cintron's going straight back, and that's why that running. Well, because he was such a powerful puncher, guys, guys didn't take a chance to counter his, his left jab much because they were afraid of the right hand. But now Alvarez has no fear of the right hand at all. Good left. Counter the, the jab at wheel. And Cintron hurt at the end of the round as well. Blood coming from his nose. Another left hand 
has hurt Cintron. And it looks like he may be done. <laughs> For a guy who looks like he didn't want to go on after that first knockdown, though, Roy, he was throwing some hard shots back. Oh, he was gambling. No. Box, okay? He's the average counter the jab with a jab of his own. Play he's here calling the top of the jab with a straight right hand. This is what guys used to throw. <laughs> See that right there? Anytime you can't get out the way of a guy counting your jab, you got bad problems. Centron's throwing hard shots back, but he, he let go. There's he, a combination. That's the Centron we used to look for. But, yeah, but when then he keeps out right. Hit, yeah, and he looks, he looks like he lacks coordination when he hits, gets hit with a shot. He's getting hit with those right hands in the temp. Looks like he's ready to fall. The problem he is, does but, counter with a right but, hand, though. Over the top of his own jab. Alvarez hits him on the top like that any time he gets ready. Roy just keeps going straight back. Well, he just showed he has the like power that. to bother Alvarez. Will he go back to that power shot now? He has no choice. <laughs> he just, he seems like a guy that's just out of it tonight. Don't, no, doesn't no, no, really no. Well, at 32 points. And he doesn't seem to be on court tonight. Digs in with some power shots. Alvarez must have shot a puncher. One thing too, though, about watching Alvarez, he gets hit just enough. He's only 21. In the fight, Citron seems to be throwing back in spite of himself. He just throw a ball, but he seems like he's dead tired, man. Yeah. Like he, he doesn't. He, he's almost for Alvarez. Yeah, he seems like he's dead tired. Like that. Good combination by Alvarez. And the what causes problems? Right, he, their flaws are part of what makes them interesting. There you go, double Centron, but right as you see, Alvarez comes right back over the top of that same all night long. There's another one. No way in the world Centron's going to keep taking that right hand, that straight right. Right here you see behind Centron's double jab right hand, hook straight right hand over the top again, followed by a body shot, and another right hand to the back of the head. Centron was reacting hey, to it. Roy, how does Canelo hide that right hand? Why is he able to land it like that? Well, he's hiding it behind his left hook. He's throwing a left hook coming tonight anyway. He just wasn't ready to defend it over the top of his jab. See right there, he tried to turn, but he turned too late. I'm gonna take a look at it again. And you see how Alvarez blocked his right hand? Central is trying to roll Alvarez's right hand with his with his left hand. His power shots. Hello, Alvarez.